This fishing rod weighs less than 100 grams, yet it's strong enough to flex like this without breaking to reel in a 5.5 kilo fish. So how is a rod made that weighs as much as a deck of cards that can still land a fish 55 times its own weight? The lightweight strength of the fishing rods comes from a cloth-like material called carbon fibre that's unrolled face down onto a computer-controlled cutting machine. So it can be cut by a cutting wheel into narrow strips, one for each fishing rod. Carbon fibre is a fabric that's woven together with individual strands of carbon and reinforced with a heat-activated resin that's used later to mould the strips into rods. Carbon is one of the strongest materials on Earth. It's stronger than steel at just a fifth of the weight, making carbon fibre one of the strongest yet lightest materials around. Once the strips are cut out, a white protective backing is removed from the back of the carbon fibre to reveal a sticky surface. Then, a round heated iron is used to activate the resin in the carbon fibre, so it sticks to a long steel shaft in the shape of the finished rod. Once the carbon fibre strip is ironed on, a mechanical rolling table is used to wrap and squeeze the entire strip around the shaft. The upper pad of the table is heated to 33 degrees to melt the resin in the fibre to fuse everything together. The rods are heated inside an oven at around 125 degrees Celsius. The heat transforms the carbon fibre from a flexible cloth into a firm but bendable fishing rod. When the rods come out of the oven, the steel shaft is pulled out, leaving behind a hollow carbon fibre tube. This has to be done while the rods are still warm, or the newly formed tubes could crack. To give the rod a little shine, it's finished with a coat of paint. The paint pours in between two rubber squeegees. And then the rod is pulled through a centre hole in the squeegees to coat it in an even layer of paint. A top-grade automotive paint is used to give the rod a flashy finish that'll flex without chipping. A 25-minute spin through a second oven shortens the drying time for this kind of paint from a couple of days to just 25 minutes. Once the paint is dry, the rods are coated in glue so the handle or grip can go on. This grip is made of cork because it's soft and comfortable to hold and it's buoyant if it's dropped in water. After the grip is set, lasers are used to align the rod. A red beam of light provides a reference point to line up the grip with a metal guide for the fishing line that's installed at the tip of the rod. Eight more guides are lined up along the length of the pole and attached with nylon thread. Later, when the angler attaches a fishing reel, the line is threaded through the guides to keep it straight over the length of the rod. Nylon thread is used to secure the guides because it's stronger than glue. After the nylon is wrapped, it's covered in two coats of clear epoxy to protect the nylon from water and weather damage. When all of the guides are secure, the rods are clipped onto a spinning drum to keep the epoxy from dripping down the rods as they dry. And after six hours of spinning, the rods are finished and ready to reel in a big one that might otherwise have got away. Thank you.